Alrighty, hello, hello. Um, this is gonna be new. Um, for me. We're trying to do a tutorial style live, but, uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. Um. Yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. It should be good. Alrighty, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the map we're making today. So on Twitter the other day, there was a tweet to buy back with basically saying, hold on, let me pull it up. It's the best thing about doing it live is I can't cut this part out. Okay. Um, Uh, uh, okay, I don't know. Where, where his, okay, here we go. I found it. Um, he basically said before I went asked, the answer is no. And he, and then this is from a Twitter account, no aesthetic things, but basically. <laughs> Um, it's like underwater torpedo something or other. And basically it's in a pool, really tiny net. You put the torpedo in the net and you win. Um, so I found they have a <laughs> website. Um, they have the spring open May 18th, 19th, if you want to register a team. Um, but I'm not gonna be doing that. We'll be making it in Rocket League instead. Um, so I don't or know anything other than that other than this exists and i was trying to get dimensions to the to this net and see uh see what i can do with this um each game uh, Okay, so it's first to five. First to five, best of three. Uh, I'm gonna write this down, I guess. Um, Torpedo in possession. Once a goal is made, the scoring team throws off the opposing team. The opposite team receives a throw off during the next round. You may move the torpedo by swimming with it, handing it off, or by passing it to another team member while submerged. However, the person positioned the torpedo must remain under water, and no part of the body may come out of the water. Okay. A score is made once one of the torpedo. Okay. The player in control of the torpedo may be tackled. Again, this is underwater in a pool, so I don't know what tackling underwater means, but um, doesn't sound good. Tackler must keep the torpedo in view. It must immediately be released by the opposing team when they're no longer in possession. Okay. So basically, once you let go of the torpedo, they have to let you go. They cannot force the opposing player with the torpedo to the surface. Players are let. You know what? This is a good song. I'm going to... This is like... Um, elevator music. Um... So this is good for reading this. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep that up a little bit. Um, let's see. Players are allowed to defend their teammates. Defending players cannot hold, wrap, pull, or push the attacking player players down and away from the surface. Even though I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happens here. Um, where they're pushing him down. But I'm no expert on the on the. Um, Whatever this is called, underwater torpedo league. Um, hello, reshot. How's it going? Thanks for joining. Um, defending players cannot hold, wrap, pull, or push the attacking player players down and away from the service. Um, players guarding their goal are allowed to push, force, or swim. Okay. Penalties. Oh my god, that's a lot. Okay, that's not exactly what I was looking for. Um, I got that. Um, it's first of five, best of three, and that 
the scoring team throws off to the opposing team. So, scoring team throws to the opposing team. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do, I don't know if I'm gonna do that, but we'll see. Okay. I was trying to see, do they have dimensions of this? And I don't think they do. So that's not great. So there's no official dimensions, but based on that, the net in proportion is pretty big. Um, so if that dude is a car, it's an insanely small goal. Might need to play small ball too. That might actually help with it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna import my collision okay um i'm just gonna create a new folder here we're gonna call it i don't know um torpedo I guess I'll call it that. And I'm just gonna name this torpedo. Okay, so these are all basic um, Rocket League meshes. I've shown how to get these before. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select one of them. Also, something I should mention right here, I have my keybinds on the bottom left. I should make it maybe a little bigger. All right, there we go, that's a little better. Um, I have my keybinds down here so you can see what I'm hitting. Um, but I'm just going to do shift G and select by normal. That's because like everything facing up. Um, and then I'm going to move it down by, well, okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to merge my distance. Um, I have it on my Q menu by default. I think it's, I think it's M. By default, it's M. I have mine as a mouse button. Um, but if you hit M, it brings it by this, and then you get by distance, and then you right click it, and you can select uh, add to quick favorites. I think it says right here. Um, and then when you hit Q, you can just hit Q, and by distance. Um, so I'm gonna move it. I'm also gonna change my snapping to vertex from increment. Um, so let's bring my floor to the actual floor. Now everything's kind of lined up a little better. Um, let's see here. I want to... We're going to make a pool, so... Alright, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take... There, it's going to be underwater, so there's not going to be many uh, ramping or much ramping, I should say. So I can actually just do this and get away with it. Um, so I'm just extruding the edges out. And then I'm mirroring it. Um, I'm using a plugin called Hard Ops to mirror. Um, all this is doing is adding a modifier in here. Just a mirror modifier. 
on the X and Y, and then bisecting it as well. Um, yeah, that's all it's doing. I'm um, shade it smooth, just look nice. And then I'm going to extrude this out to the center. Merge that at the last, and then I'm just going to select all this. And there we go. Now we have a, well, actually, there's no floor yet. Um, do the same thing down here. Alrighty. Looks fine. All right, now I need a goal. Um, so I'm just going to make a sphere. Um, and this is going to be the size of the ball. It's just a default sphere. I need to make a goal. Um, not a traditional goal since... I feel like it. Hold on. Can I get a better shot of this? Apparently, I, apparently that's as big as it gets. Okay, that would have been helpful to be bigger. Um, it just looks like PVC to be honest. Um, but it's just a just a tube around with a net on top. That's gonna be really easy to do. So. I'm not actually trying to get a good shape here. I'm also going to mirror this um, across the cursor um, just so I can work with it like this. Um, again, I'm doing that with hard ups. Um, all this is doing actually is it's creating, it puts an empty in the center of the field. And so if I move this, this is going to be the mirroring point. And so in here, the mirror object is the empty. And that's all it's doing. It's just doing it all in one step. So I'm to do it manually. Also don't need the end panel open. Um, okay. So I'm going to remove this. And I need to go backwards. And then I need, I'm going to share this. Hopefully this works. Perfect. So the shear is actually one of the coolest tools in Blender, but you don't get to use it much. It's down here in the, in the menu. Shortcut is shift control alt s if you want to do that. But um basically what you can do is okay, here's the shear modifier. So if I rotate it like this, you see how the 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 faces or like it's not keeping the same surface area. Um because the because it's just finding the shortest path. It's going from here to there. So what the shear modifier does is it moves it along one of these lines. So if I pick this one, okay hold on, not the best example, but if I pick if I pick this one, if I pick this one, if I pick this one, okay, there we go. If I pick this one, it's moving along up and down. Um, but if I move it along this way, so I just moved it um, 45 degrees, but it kept it the same exact surface area. So it's not, it's not rotating it like this. Um, super amazing tool. I don't use it much because it doesn't come in handy that much, but yeah, awesome tool. Um, and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a curve from this. That's again using hard ops. Um, by default, what you do is if I have this selected, you'd hit by, you hit separate by selection 
and now you have this line and then you be convert to curve and then now you're left with a curve and then geometry and then you move the depth and then that's exactly what hard ups just did just again just did it all in one step for me so i didn't have to do it manually which is why i it's one of my favorite plugins is hard ups Okay, if I make it, this might need to be 0.5. Um, just because of the fact that, well, actually, no. 0.25 might be fine. We'll see. The only thing I'm worrying about here is it might clip through. Um, like the ball might just clip through because the collision isn't big enough. Um, but we'll see if that's the case. Um, and then you see here that this is not here. If I sold this out, um, again, I sold that out just by hitting a slash. Um, but you see how that's not straight. So what I can do is I can hit alt S and alt S, um, will scale that for me. I could, I can't use normal S because it's not doing it correctly. So I do it that way. I also don't know how I went to that view. Okay. Um, but there we go. Now we have a Oh, I was in the mirror. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that's straight. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do Okay, there we go. Um, so I don't actually know where this option is, but uh, by default, if you hit Blender, if you hit, if you hit F3, you can just type in an option and find it. So what I just did is I just did smooth curve radius. Um, which kind of leveled out all the races. Now I'm going to do smooth curve tilt. Um, next thing I want to do, I want to put a point here. So this is not like this. I'm going to move it by 0.25 maybe. There we go. Now it's a little beveled. It looks nicer. It matches more with that. Um, again, I'm going to mirror that. So that ball actually doesn't fit in the goal, so I need to make this bigger. Um, and then this goal is not going to be, <laughs> it's not going to look like the net. I'm going to do a little bit of, here, let me just, please, just, I'm just going to hide this for now. Um... The other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete all my other collision. I don't need it. And I'm going to rename this just field. Um, okay, so I can still see that this is wrong. This this scale here. That looks much better. It, It looks it looks better, but it looks wrong. Oh, it's because this is wrong. Um That looks still super awkward, but Okay, next I'm going to fix this one, I guess.
And I'm pretty sure there's a there's a setting where I can just set the radius. Um, but I don't remember where it is. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an option where you can actually just set the direct size of these. I can't remember what it is. Radius. Curve. I don't know. I'm done looking, to be honest. I did it manually now, so I don't need to do it. I don't need to be doing it. Okay. Solidify? No, solidify is a different thing. Um, You can also do it that way. Um, um, but see, there's no, there's no mesh here. Um, the other one you can do is you can, the one that I think would work. Skin. Where is it? They rename it. Okay, maybe I can't add it. If I convert to a mesh. So yeah, there's this called skin. Um, and then I could sub D that. Um, and that's going to give me the exact look I'm going for. Um, which I guess I can keep it that way. Um, if I do solidify. It's still, it's not going to do anything because there's no... There's no geometry. If I were to add a face in here, then it's going to solidify that. But since there's nothing here to begin with, it doesn't know what to do. Um, but skin um, can do it. So I'll just use skin. And then I sub deed for round corners. See that smooth. Um, okay, I can't. Um... I'm going to stash that. And then stash that. Okay. Um, so this is a plugin called I've I have so many plugins. Um, this is a plugin called Mesh Machine. Um mainly for hard surface modeling. Um Yeah, mainly for hard surface modeling and bevels and stuff like that, but um, it has this option called stashing, which basically will let you stash the the current mesh. So, okay, I forgot to disable the modifier, so it's absolute uses. But um, usually you can cycle through your stashes and view the states of your different of your mesh. Um, pretty cool. Um, but I did it wrong, and I don't care to fix it right now. Okay, next we're gonna do something that I don't know is gonna work. 
But I really hope it does. I'm gonna try and spin this. Um, so there's a modifier called spin. Um, and I mean, you can kind of see what it's doing here. It's, it's spinning it for sure, but that's not exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to. Okay. It's doing it over the, uh, the origin, I think, which is why it freaked out like that. So I want to do it here. Spin. Okay. Better. Um, it's sideways. <laughs> Okay, there we go. A little better. Um, the reason it's not matching up is because it's not the same radius. And um, that should be pretty good, actually. What I'm mainly looking for is an even amount of steps that matches up here and matches up right here. I'm just going to mirror this um, because I don't want to deal with <laughs> I don't want to deal with doing both sides. If I mirror it, I only have to do I only have to deal with one side. So and then this actually is kind of wrong. OK. And see what I did here? They don't need to connect. I just put it through the mesh and that's perfectly fine because uh, no one's ever going to see it. And it doesn't need to be perfect. It's a Rocket League map. Um, okay. Okay, and then I did that there too. And then now I'm gonna use solidify. Um, okay, that did not, <laughs> that's not working exactly how I thought it would. Um, what are my normals looking like? Oh, what the heck? Okay. Okay, so um, for normals, um, I forgot I was doing a tutorial for a second, but, um, face orientation, turn that on. Everything blue is facing towards you. Everything red is not. So this is a completely solid object. Same with a sphere. So everything's going to be blue all around. Um, and what I did here is since some of it, let me go back. Some of it is red. So what I did is if you hit N, well, by default, it's going to be Alt N, I think, something like that. Um, what I just Control N, maybe. I had to recalculate it inside. I have it as a mouse button again because it's something I use so often. Um, but now that the normals are all the right way, the solidify should be nice now. Yeah, there we go. And. I'm making sure this still lines up pretty well. I can do some manual cleanup, but I still want to line up, you know, decent. Like that can be extended a little bit there. Th these aren't going to be connected like they like right now. This has this face in the middle. It's not going to be like that because um, I have this pole. 
Uh, if I bring up the field again, um, the scale actually looks pretty accurate. This is a normal field size. Um, the walls are not perfect, but it's going to be underwater anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to hide that again. Go back to here. I'm going to apply the solidify, but not the mo not the mirror, because I still want to have things mirrored right now. I know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, move that up. Yeah, I'm just gonna move any vertices that should be up. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring that back. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to back that up just by creating a duplicate. And I'm going to apply this, create a loop, curve extract, there we go. Make the 0.25. I'm going to delete these words. I don't need them. And I need to make this not closed. Um, I hit F3, where's this option? Cyclic. Okay, not exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for cyclic option. There we go. Um, cyclic means that it's, it will... Um, uh, what was I going to say? I don't know. I can't, I can't remember, honestly. Oh yeah, cyclic. Um, so cyclic means that it's going to close the loop, and I don't want that since the loop is only halfway. Um, if it was all the way around, I would want it cyclic. Um, so right here we have that, and by creating this new curve, it actually lines up perfectly with... Why is that shading weird? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so this is bisected, I think, is what happened. I think that's why it's weird. Will you save the stream? Yeah, it'll be up on YouTube after. Like, after. It'll just be saved, yeah. Oh, wait, I just forgot to delete it this time. Okay, fair enough. Okay, that's a pretty good looking goal to me. Um, I'm going to UV it now. And then I'm going to work on the outside a little bit more. Uh, if I unwrap this, scale it by 50 or 25 maybe. And this won't let me UV it. I need to convert it to a mesh first. And curves actually have really nice UVs by default. Um, I'm going to ruin that. So I'm going to go to base color, image texture. And I'm going to go to, you want to export? I'm going to go to labs. Uh, double goal. Yeah, double goal. And then alpha, none. And then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to change this to a texture viewing so I can see the texture. You can also go to material preview. Um, I just like staying in solid mode because the shading is a little bit different. It's just easier. Um, apply transforms to all of that just so I don't get that, that error. Okay, so the seam is actually a terrible spot. You can see it, it's right it's right here. Um is the seam, which is not where I want it. I want it in here. Um where it's invisible. It's actually not gonna be invisible, but it's gonna be slightly less because this is gonna be glass, I think. Um it's gonna be slightly less visible. If I want to unwrap it now. Okay, I need to add another another cut somewhere. 
Um, because this unwrap is not going to be. If I do the by shape. Alrighty. Um, halfway is maybe here. So this blue part is team colored. Um, so if I put this front like this, all of that is team color. There's kind of a sick stripe right there. That might actually look pretty decent. I'll try it out. Um, I am not tech supporting in this stream. You can go to the Rocket League map making server and someone can help you there. Um, I don't want it saved in the VOD, so... Um, so I'm going to go to back to my downloaded or my U model export and I want to find hex glass. Okay. It's not in park. Is it in Euro stadium? Um, not in Euro Stadium, or maybe it is. Maybe it's in the decrypted one. Okay, it's not there. Where? I'm going to go into here. I'm going to add two levels of recursions. And I want to find X. There we go. Hex gone pack. Okay, that actually looks pretty good for UV. Um, Maybe a little higher. There we go. I might use the colored hex glass for this and not the the clear. Um, so since this is mirrored, the UV in the center is actually going to work out pretty well. Um, the only problem is that the light map isn't, so I need to apply the hard ops modifier. So in UDK, it doesn't look terrible. It's really dumb that I have to do that, but you know. UDK is also very dumb, so. Um, okay, so for the field, this should be pretty simple. It's a pool. Um, so this floor, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Okay, so this part. Yeah, so this part right here is going to be the pool. This is going to be the ceiling. And then I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to finish the pool by going up more. Um, I don't know if that's going to work right, but we're going to see. We're gonna see. Okay. Um, and then for the water, giant plane, bring it down. I've never used the material before that I'm gonna use for this. Um, I should do 25, maybe? No, maybe five. And we're gonna see how that goes. Um, you know what? Actually, I can just look at it. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I don't know what it would be called. Underwater GRS. Out of bound. The BFX, maybe.
All right, that was not useful. Um, okay, that was not useful at all. Um, so what I'm doing right now is there's a there's a there's a material for the water. Um, in the new the new Aqua Dome. And by the new Aqua Dome, I mean the one. Um, the one that just came out with the simpler everything. Um. I hope that makes sense. I hope they don't make another Aqua Dome and that becomes irrelevant. Um, but I'm looking for the mesh that is the plane. Um, this has vertex colors, interestingly. Um, the cloud plane, I don't know what the cloud plane is. I'm going to export the sun plane. Okay, I don't think there's anything else there. Now I can import as PSK, and I can go find ooh, what I just exported, which is going to be in here. And then I'm going to go, it said it had colors. Oh, it does. Um, That is very strangely painted. One black corner. So the triangle isn't going to be there by default when they um when they paint it. So it has one black square and three non-black like pink. That doesn't make any sense. That can't be right. Um It's fine. I'm just going to name this top water. Um, there's going to be a goal, Google glass, and there's going to be goal frame. And I'm going to actually underscore that just so I can keep it organized. Um, I'm going to name this out of bounds pool. And it's going to be named, uh, Cool field and this is gonna be top field. Yeah, that's fine. Um if I unwrap this, I'm getting fifteen. Should be fine there. Okay. This I'm actually going to center. Um, just so I can place it a little easier. So I'm going to select that, put the origin there. And then put the origin at 3D cursor, move that there. Perfect. Delete that. Okay. Now I have all of my meshes. Um, I'm going to actually do that for that one too. So I can move it around easier. Um, so I have another plugin right here, which is called, um, batch export, um, basically makes it super easy to export all these models all at once. Um, because otherwise you basically have to go through one by one. So by default, you go through export, select your preset, which for me is just UDK and then name it the name of the model underscore field and then you hit export um so what this is going to do is i hit this button and just to go to back to this folder see what i just did it just created all those meshes with their names in like one second super nice um to start see how do i want to start this i'm going to do 
Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I have. I'm gonna do a soccer template. Um, I have my own template I usually use, but just for tutorial sake, I'm gonna use this one. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to delete everything. Um, all the effect actor is gone. I don't want any boost on this map. It's gonna be unlimited. All the static mesh actors and all the boost gone. Um, so all that's left now is this. And actually I'm gonna replace this with my own lighting cause I don't like this lighting. Um, I'm just gonna open another map for that. Don't wanna save all. That'd be dumb. I wanna do shark. Um, torpedo is fine. Um, I'm gonna open my last map, which was bowling. Okay. Take all this copy it and then go back to torpedo um projects and then go to my folder, Torpedo. There it is. And then just select all of it. Open it. Um, import settings. I replace vertex colors. I actually don't import tangents. Generally, it, generally the tangents in Blender are going to be much better than the tangents in UDK, but UDK doesn't know how to read the tangents correctly. Um, so I'm stuck with just non-working ones and then I'm just going to drag everything in and I'm going to give everything collision, uncheck the three boxes. Okay. And then I also know it's eerily quiet, like no music, but I'm keeping it that way on purpose. I um, I could turn it on if I want. I'm listening to it, but I have it muted just because I know people get annoyed when they have to listen to music rewatching, like especially in tutorials. <laughs> I know it can be annoying, so um, so I dragged that in twice, which means I probably missed something. Um, I definitely missed something. I don't have my top. Um, okay, that should be all the meshes. And this is the water plane. I'm sure I'm just gonna do that. And I also don't have my out of bounds pool. Okay, that's the wrong thing, first of all, so flip it, and then I'm going to UV it. Well, this needs to be UV'd together. Um, it's fine. I'll just do a basic unwrap for now. I don't know what this texture is even going to be yet, so it might be... I might use the Utopia one, that might be smart. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, the goal is gonna go over here. And since I centered it in Blender, it should be easy. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. I just rotate that 180 degrees, and now they're mirrored. Perfect. Um, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into scene. 
and I'm going to select everything, F4, and I'm going to un check all the settings I need to, add sticky walls, um, go into physical materials, collision sticky. Um, yeah, we should be good. Um, I have all my settings favorited here. I actually don't want to center that because that ruins the point of doing that in the first place. Okay, so yeah, I just have all my settings here, so I don't actually need to search for anything. Uh, but you can read all the settings. I just changed and look for them if you need to. Um, something I'm noticing, this floor UV is a mess, uh, which is fine because I'm going to change it later anyway, but... I'm just going to move the spawns up a little bit. And then these goals need to be way smaller. Thirty two snap, maybe this is going to be so annoying to to actually do this. I have to create a custom coal volume or gold volume, whatever I just said. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. Um, but yeah, I see that becoming an issue. Um, because anytime it touches this back volume, it's not so much getting the size right. It's more about just like if it touches it at all when it's out, it's going to like make the ball completely back. Okay, center that. I'm starting it as best I can to, or, you know, sizing it as well as I can to the goal I've made. And that looks actually really good. Uh, I'm going to fix this one up now. You can see it's way too wide. Um... That looks good. I'm actually going to turn on the music now. I maybe should have had it on the entire time. Um, but I'm getting into the more slow part. Um, so it might be better just to have it on. Um, okay, that looks pretty centered. Um, So this being here means that the wall is way off. It's way too big because this should be on the edge of the wall. Um, let me just double check with a um, another collision mesh. Okay, it's correct. Um. I'm going to do Torpedo. Uh, where is it? There it is. And we're going to open Rocket League. Now we're going to see just if the size is right. And if I forgot anything, that's another important thing. Because I probably forgot some things. Um, and then I need to texture it. Okay, hold on. The um, the capture card is not playing nice. Let me uh, black screen. Okay, we're good. I just needed to turn it on and off again. 
uh, re retro unlimited boost. I did not set a I did not set a, a gravity volume yet. Um, but that's fine. I'm not I'm not testing that. Okay, so this does feel actually standard. Um. So that's what I was talking about there. Here, let me see if I can get a better one. I go around here and I put it up to the gold volume. The whole ball should turn black. Okay, it's not like like it should be. It didn't actually turn black. What? Over here it is. Okay, that means one of these goals is actually good and I don't need to make a custom goal. Um, and you can score, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to go back to UDK. Okay, so one of these goals is fine. Whichever one is shorter. They look the exact same, to be honest. Um, okay, I don't know which one it was. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some textures. Um, this should be... So these are labs. Um... I got a double goal. Um, I should be able to find uh, the material I'm looking for. Okay, give me a moment. I need to look for a better background music because this is this is not it. <laughs> um. Okay, here's a little better. That is trim. This needs to be um music in here. Music. I think it's field. That one. Um, this one should be normal glass. It's a dark glass. It's not right. Wait, I actually think that's what I'm looking for. I think this. I think this should be dark glass. Um, this should be hex glass, which I can find in. Uh, this one here. That's hex glass. Um, this should be water, which I can find in... I actually don't have the new packages. Um, okay, that's fine. I should be able to use normal aquadome water.
I hope that's right. Um, torpedo. So this should be have team colors now on the, the floors. Or not on the floors, on the goals. Um, so it should be much easier to tell what's going on. There we go. Those goals actually look... Uh, the UV, not, not there. Um, that's fine. I'll have to redo that UV just because it that's split. Um, I actually like the, the bright post. Looks pretty nice. And this was the curve I saw earlier. Or the indent actually looks pretty nice too. Um, the seam is on the corner there. I can see it. Um, but the seam has to go somewhere. So... No, it's fine. Um, the top is invisible. Or is it? Um, I actually see it. Okay, that doesn't have any collision. That's good to know. There is actually a water. It's like rippling. It's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that material did that. Um, let me test something else really quick while I'm here. I need to test. I cannot clip through the goal, which is really good. I figured I left enough space, but I needed to make sure. Um, next thing I need to test is which goal has the magic. I'm not doing it this way. I'm going to go through training. I'm going to chase the ball around is not something I want to do. I just want it to appear in front of me. Okay. Um, so, hold on. I need to enable team colors. Okay, there we go. So the orange goal is the one that's doing it. Which is the side I'm spawning on, which is also wrong. Um, I don't know why, but the soccer template actually, the spawns are backwards. Um, okay, the blue goal is perfect, so I just need to mirror the blue goal on the other side. My goal explosion also doesn't work in custom maps. I need to figure that out. Um, the shark. I don't know why it doesn't work in custom maps, but it, it should be. Okay, so that water is not right. Cool, but not right. So I need to find... Uh, okay, this isn't going to have water. I modified this package. Um... I'm realizing the map is called Underwater, which is why um, the material name Water doesn't really work. I'm also just going to filter by materials. I'm um, looking for anything that says Water. That's all copper. That's glass. No, no, that's Water. Okay, I need to get the new packages. Um... I also need to give this needs collision. Yeah, that needs collision. This one doesn't have collision. Okay. Another thing I'm gonna do is I have a exponential fog. This one's gonna be more blue, I think. Um, less green. A little more of a darker blue. Okay, maybe a little. Um, it likes purple more than blue to me. Um, that could be good. We'll see. Um, I need to get the new packages, which means... Let me see if the map making server has some. Um, 
yeah, in here. Um, I'm looking for resource library. Okay. And uh, Swaggles changed it. <laughs> Great. Uh, I need uh, search for asset click. It's not what I'm looking for. Dummy. Okay. Let me see if he has them in here. He doesn't. Um Okay, that's fine. Uh I think I can extract them if I remember how. Um because I really want that material. Actually, I know a way around this. I can go to UE Explorer and see if this works. Uh, cancel. Um, I need to go to here. Underwater. Um, GRS underscore FX. Open that. Um, and we'll probably extract the, um, the assets later. So if you're watching this later, um, look for, look for that first. And this is not useful at all. Um, out of bounds, maybe. Um, materials. Um, they have a color. That's cool. Okay. Um, to get around this really quick, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna create a new package in here. Um, I'm gonna name it this underwater underscore GRS underscore OB. Underwater underscore GOS underscore OOB. Um, and then I'm going to copy this. So this is the directory to whatever this is. Um, so if I copy that and put it in here, and then the end is the name of whatever it is. I'm going to cut that and put it there. Um, and that should be the location of it. Un underwater GRS OOB. Okay. Um, and that's not what I needed that to be. I needed it to be a material, not a, uh, I should have checked that to be honest. Please don't delete my package. It deleted my package. Uh, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I don't need to, I'll just do it again. Underwater underscore GRS underscore OOB. Copy that. Cut the name at the end. Underwater GRS OOB material. Okay. And it's going to crash. Yep, I knew it was going to crash the instant I deleted that old one. Okay. So we're going to restart UDK. Looking forward to a nice new map. The bowling pin with Lethemir and the others was very fun to watch. Going to go to sleep now. Well, good night. Thank you for saying that. Um, yeah, I did actually figure out the issue with the bowling. Not only did I set up the 
I actually set up the collision okay. Um, so one half of the pin actually had no collision, but I fixed it, and it turns out um, you can't have um, closed end drop shot tiles, which means what I did with the bowling pins is something you're not supposed to do because it had a top bottom like fully closed all the way around. Something has to be open basically. Um, which is, you know, something you always learn after you do a map, but. I will have a tutorial on, um, on new drops of tiles hopefully soon. We, I was supposed to make one. We had a map lined up. Um, it was an event map. Uh, the event got canceled. Um, but it was going to be the first showcase of, um, new drop set tiles with, with one of those maps. And it was going to be like, you know, a first and everything. And then I was going to make the tutorial after that came out, which was supposed to be last November. And well, that never happened. So I'm going to just finally get around to it. And hello, Trevor. How's it going? Thank you for joining. Hello, little Mike. Thank you for joining. Underwater or scored you? Um, okay. This will work this time. No crashing. Or anything. It crashed. Oh, I know why it's crashing. Okay. Dang. Um, I don't actually think I'm going to be able to do this, which kind of is a shame. Um, let me double check if I can re, um, if I go into my U model or not my U model, what am I looking at? Um, I have the Killing Floor SRC in here too, just because, you know, why don't you need that? Um, what am I looking for? Ooh, this is what I'm looking for. Awesome. Okay, asset extraction. Um, bin release. Okay, in here. Nice. Okay, I found it. Um, it's gonna be dummy folder slash. Um, it needs to go in the Aquadome folder, wherever that is. Okay. Uh, this part, there's not going to be a tutorial on this part. I'm going to be honest. This is, this is not the tutorial part. Um, I'm just going to extract the assets for, um, this map really quick. Um, so I can use the material. Um, I'm not going to explain this process really at all. Um, because I barely know what I'm doing with this. Um, I need to find, where, where are my dummy assets? That's where you need to find content. Dummy assets. Maps. Aquadome. So I need that. Okay, and then this should be G. Um, underwater. Transport GRS star. Um. Yeah, okay. And then I've... Can I open the file location of this? No, I can't. I have to go find it. <sighs> oh my god. I guess I'm going back through my... Here. Okay. There we go. Found it. Okay. If I run this... It's gonna do magic. That's the best thing I can explain that. It did magic. Um, now, thanks to the magic, if we re if we go back into maps, content, dummy, maps, aqua, if we go in here, look at that. All the GRS packages are here now, which means if I go into UDK, Existing map, shark, 
torpedo. All this stuff confuses me. You got the brains? No, I don't have the brains. I just have a lot of time. <laughs> Um, SRS underscore, or GRS, not SRS. What the heck? That's something else entirely. Please load this. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Thank you, UDK. It's the only time ever you're going to ever hear me say that. Okay, now, all of this... ...was so... ...I could l go into here now... Go in game. It's going to be black screen for a second. It's fine. It'll come back. Now, if I go into here. Here we go. This is what we did it for. All, all for this material. Um, Which needs to be less tiled. Much less tiled. Um, and this looks translucent too. Is it translucent? I can't tell. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, I'm going to go into another map. Alt, it's fine. Black screen again. I don't know why, but I feel like I have to say it's a black screen every single time. Otherwise, um, panic starts to happen. Even though I think I'm the one panicking every time there's a black screen. Um, if I go into here, I do maybe like, if I do 50, um, then export that. And then here, I'm getting rid of this seam that's happening in the middle here. Reimport that. There we go. Um, uh, I don't know what I just picked up, but please don't do whatever you're doing. All right, so I'm going to save this. Um, so these spawns also need to be flipped. Which is fine. Okay, perfect. So this is blue side. Um, this is red side. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this way tighter. This snap needs to be smaller. So it should be... Maybe 1%. There we go, that's much better. I'm actually gonna do this. I'm just gonna edit it this way. Um, this should be... I'm gonna do a one edit. We're gonna do this really precisely. So I'm trying to center this like that. And this back one lines up with the back of the goal. Like that. Apply. Recenter that. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to save before I do the second one because that actually likes to crash when I do that. Okay, go to the other side. Put that back there. And then this can line up right there. Okay, that's perfect. Wow, it actually went seamlessly. I actually can't believe it. Um, Next thing I want to do, all right, I'm going to check really quick in here. I'm going to check if I have a the correct texture I want. Um, exported already. I'm going to go to 
Utopia. I actually want I want one of these. I'm actually gonna take both of these. Um, because these look like pool tiles. Which is what I'm going for. I only imported one of them, even though I wanted both of them. Keep that. Keep okay. So Okay, I don't want this one. I want this one. Yeah, I changed my mind. I actually like this one more. Um, I like the texture being there. Okay. So rotate this. Around like that. Mark that as a seam, so marking that as a seam is going to allow me to UV this perfectly because uh, this is going to be straight now. And it's also going to allow me to make this straight. Which I might actually make this an actual ramp. Um, the Utopia ramp. Or at least kind of. Oh, I need to make another material, right? Make that image texture. And then I'm going to open again, go back to where I was, you model export. And by the way, this is model export um, folder. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. Um, but if you go into you model, which I think I've shown how to use in a previous video. And I just go to Utopia. And then Lux for this one. And then I just found the texture. I hit control X to export it. Okay, not that one. That's a bad example. Um, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm trying to find a texture, please a texture that I haven't exported from. There we go. All right, I just hit export, which you can do by uh, export current object. I hit control X. Um, but now if I refresh it, uh, there's the thing I just exported. So that's all I that's all I'm getting these from. Um, I want this. I want that. I want that. Okay, this is not gonna be pretty. But I need this to be not this way. I need this to be quads. Which it actually did okay. I need maybe delete that. Okay, it needs a little help. Um, but overall, it's doing pretty okay. Okay, that's actually perfect. I needed to give a little help, but it worked out at the end. Um, now, if I do this, now that's perfect. Um, I need... I'm going to use the top of this trim sheet. Um, instead of the whole thing. Okay. That's a lot of blue. I don't need to be looking at that. Okay. So now if I unwrap this, same thing. Well, actually not same thing. Because this needs to be quads too. Uh, that one just worked, so that's great. Okay, these actually need to be together. Okay, no it doesn't. This should be a separate material, I think. Or maybe duplicate it.
This could be the blank um, tile. Okay. Looks pretty decent. Um, should I rotate this 90 degrees? Should I have it go? Um, actually, yeah, that looks better because it's like a pool. So it's supposed to be supposed to be like that. All right, and then one of these cubes, this is gonna mark just the texture size. Um, so it's the same. I don't actually care that much, but I'm just gonna make sure it's the same. Okay, that's actually good.
Oh my god, I've been muted the entire time. That is insane. I've been talking the entire time and I was just muted for like a minute. Okay. Um. So yeah, as I was saying. Um. Um, we cut out. Uh, the stream died. Um, uh, my computer blue screened. And then after it blue screened, it restarted it and made me do like five Windows updates. Um. And then I, yeah, I restarted the stream. I think we're good now. Uh, I think my, I think I had, I was using Epidemic Sounds for, you know, music and non-copyrighted stuff. And I think it actually caused me to crash. The My streaming computer is not the, um, not what you call high end. Because it doesn't really need to be. Um, but yeah. That's what we got going on. Um, and then what I was saying is I was going to go into... Uh, hold on, I'm troubleshooting uh, audio real quick. Let me just... That should be there. Uh, can you hear it on stream now? No. Okay. Um... Oh, okay. Okay, music is good. I am good. Alrighty, so all I did was I win game. There's this map called Library uh, Biblio made by Crossbotot. And basically what I did is I just ran around, or I walked around, or drove around, whatever. And I picked up some... I wrote down, well, so... Uh, Okay, okay, hold on, I'll slow down and speak words. So, I UV'd all of this and finished UVing this so it lined up perfectly. And then after I did that, um, I went in game and I looked for these materials um, to relate them into Rocket League, not just textures. Um, and I wrote down the names of all of them on a notepad. And so now I'm going to go to Utopia Stadium in here. And I'm going to find. Actually, Lux might be good because Lux actually has shinier materials. Um, which will work because it's supposed to be a pool. Um, and then I'm going to look up for all of these. One of them was trim. I don't know if there's going to be the materials material necessary, please. Okay. Um, go into here. I'm actually going to open this. I can do this one this way, too. Um, another thing I did is I changed the UV of the... Of the water. I uh, made it a little bit... Uh, well, I made the UV smaller, which makes the texture bigger. So it should hopefully be a little, little better. Um, I have floor double zero, uh, which I'm going to use there. Then I have wall tile. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, so we have... 
These are wall tiles. I don't know what these look like. I forgot. Even though I literally just looked at them five minutes ago. Um. So I'm just gonna go in game and look at him. And we should hopefully be wrapping up. Um. Soon, I hope. I hope the live stream resumed. It didn't wipe. Um, the the rest of it. I actually didn't check that. Does someone know if, if it wiped it or did it keep it? Like, can you go back like an hour? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, good. I just checked. Um, okay, so I'm going to go into training now. Okay, this this white tile. While it's very pool like. It's um. It looks like an insane asylum. It looks like I might go crazy. Don't one say it. It's not it's not even funny anymore. Like. Um, but yeah, the contrast on on the white um, is not not there, and the UV is entirely wrong for it. If it was not lined up for for this material, although it does provide good contrast, I might use it for the um for the top. We'll see. I don't know, you're also not going to be able to go around like this because you're going to be, um, you know, you know. The walls are actually fine. I thought the, the texture would be kind of weird if it, you can't see the wall. But because there's going to be zero gravity, you're not going to be able to, um, drive on the wall. It's going to be fine. Okay, so the wall tiles should be on the floor. And then the other one I have was dark. Um, dark tiles. Did not want to close that. I just wanted to not see it anymore. I know that sounds weird, but like I wanted it open. Just, just not, not the way it was. It just needs to be not the way it is. Okay, loading back into the Rocket League. Let's see if this works. Oh, that's um a little weird. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't. I don't know why it's doing that, but. Okay, the dark tiles on top actually works really well. Um, yeah, the dark tiles on top actually works really well. It makes the hex glass actually contrast really well. Um, I am going to add a cage to the top, I think. I don't know. It feels pretty good to play, honestly. I mean, I'm just smacking the ball around, but um, I mean, it feels pretty good. I don't know if I want to add a black around it, around the edge of the map, so it doesn't look just blue. But I don't think it really matters. I could add it just to show how to add it. But also then it just looks black on the outside. I don't know if I'm going to like that. All right. Back to UDK. Um, things I need to do. So first of all, this fog. 
Um, that can go back to point one. Um, yeah, it's fine. Um, I need to fix the, the roof. Top field. Um, I need to apply that. Unwrap it. And find the glass. There it is. Make it 50. Alrighty. Perfect. And just like that, um, we fixed the, the top roof. And now I need to fix the... Okay, this is... I'm going to make a cage. This is kind of the worst. Okay, this is not this is not quads, that's why. Is that did that work? I think it actually worked. I I'm honestly kind of surprised. So I'm export that again. Okay, top field underscore cage. It is so easy to make a cage. So easy to make a cage. Please, please, please make a cage to your rocket league map it makes the ball so much easier to read and it takes it takes no time at all so that sounds like i'm about to do like an infomercial it takes no time at all but you know we'll roll with it so all you have to do i'm going to you create i'm creating extra loops and you'll see why in a second and then i'm going to straighten them all out um because i put them in sideways which is kind of annoying I also don't know what is happening with my, um, oh, okay. I really hope the stream, okay. I'm really hoping that that part didn't get muted by <laughs> or like copyright copyrighted by a uh, YouTube. Um, but we'll see. I don't think they mute streams, so I think it, it, should, it, uh, it don't think it matters anyway. Okay, so I'm going to I'm main, mainly anything that is a verted or like an edge um, is going to be the cage. So right here, that's fine. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add a wireframe modifier. Um, I like to set mine to 0.25 and negative 2. And then I'm going to move around these vertices. But here's your cage. That is literally it. So another thing I'm going to do, I'm going to inset this and then scale it. And then there we go. Now we have a top cage just to make it a little easier to read. And then I'm going to delete those. And this is also mirrored, so anything I make to this side, it gets reflected to all all the sides. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of detail here, maybe. Right here, I'm gonna connect that. I'm gonna connect that. Okay, maybe I shouldn't just do sliding. Maybe I should just move the vertex. Also, do not worry about the UV. I know I'm making it look like a mess. Um, I can actually get rid of the material. The UV, the UV does not matter on this at all. It will in a second, but right now when I'm just fiddling with it, it doesn't need to matter. Um, it actually looks pretty cool. I think I'll leave that. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Um, that shouldn't be there. Cause it's not there on the other side. All right, we have a cage. Um, here can be a little, a little reduced. There it goes. A little better. Um, so I'm gonna apply all of that, and then I'm going to do a cube projection, and then top field cage. Export that. I'm going to import this. Okay, hold on. I need those gone. 
Actually, I'm going to just exit out of those. I don't need them anymore. Um, top field. I need to go back to my folder of torpedo. And the cage. Okay, and if your cage does not fit, um, it has too many vertices or something, you can just split it up. Um, something else that will happen is your cage could look super messed up. Um, just make sure you either triangulate it here um, or you triangulate it um, in here. Um, triangulate faces when you export. Um, mine has, yeah, right, this. Uh, triangulated faces. Um, because otherwise UDK, UDK is going to try and triangulate it itself. Um, and it's not going to be able to. It's going to, the vertices are going to be everywhere. Just, just, yeah. Just make it easy on yourself. Um, shark bowling. I'm going to grab um, my cage from the last map I did, just to shortcut it a little bit. And because I can't remember the name of it. Um, so I'm going to select that. Um, and I also just want to set this up uh, kind of quickly, you could say. Because I feel like this uh, this live this stream went on a little bit longer. I feel like it's two hours long or something. A little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be a quick hour map, so... Okay, so there's our cage. So this, this cage, all it is, if you go into here, and you go into actor classes. This is a dynamic uh, mesh actor in Scortier. You drag this in, and then you can set your mesh. And there we go. There's your mesh. And then I can reset its location. And then you set the material here. Um, dynamic meshes are only used for certain materials. Um, anything that has the ball, like any cage that follows the ball, needs to be a dynamic material. Um, and then in here, I'm using um, Force Field Hex Gauge from Euro Stadium, which is Manfield. Um, so this should... Hopefully, if I got the UV right, the UV always trips me up on this. So I hope I got it right. And I did. So there we go. Now we have the, the net or the top part. It's following the the cage, whatever you want to call it. The cage is following the ball. And that is what's important. Um, I might need to adjust the UV a little. Actually, no, I don't. It's going outside the map because, um, yeah, it's going outside the map. Um, because it's offset it a little bit and the pool is, um, The pool is detailed a little bit, but that's fine. Um, I think all that's left is add the gravity. So let me add that. And then we should be done. Hopefully. Um, we can do that by going to the brush. Making a big brush. It doesn't really need to be pretty. It just needs to encapsulate the whole field. volume um and then we set this to zero um strangely if you set it to zero there is actually still gravity uh don't ask me why to be honest i don't know <laughs> oh this is perfectly this is perfect just just perfect right here see i'm moving up but i, I should not be moving up there is no gravity i 
You can add like five, ten gravity maybe. Was the circle on the ground? I honestly don't know. I don't know why the material is doing that, but I also don't know if I hate it. I mean, it's, I don't know why it's doing that. It's not. Like it would make sense if it was an IVTK material, but it's not. Um, the, I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. I've never seen, never seen it do that before. Um, another thing I need to fix, the water can be seen outside. Okay. So the wall, oh wait, the wall is IVTK. So that's what it is. Yeah, the walls disappearing when I look at it this way. Um, IVDK is, I think stands for Invisitech. It's kind of hard when Sonic's names like doesn't fully name things, just uses acronyms in the game files. And I mean, I'm not blaming them. They don't need to use full names, but I'm just saying that I don't know what it actually stands for, but I think it's a Visitech. Um, um, but that would make sense why it's doing this. Um, because it's basically used for like goalposts, one of the transparent goalposts. Um, so if you're looking at it from an angle, so like right here, if I was defending this goal, it's kind of, it's disappearing like a, like the goalpost would. And that's the purpose of it. So I think that's actually what's happening with the floor. Um, which is fine. It's easy to fix. Um, this roof I also need to fix. Um, I'll do that really quick, actually. Top water. Just reimport that. Um, and then it should yeah, here we go. Reset. Reset. Very good. Um, so now it's just it's flush with the pool. Um, okay. I'm gonna go into here now. I'm gonna look at this. Um Oh, I, I used the IV Decay one. Um, did I do that on purpose? I feel like I did that on purpose. But I don't know why I did that. Um, if I use the... I'm going to use the Lux tiles, actually. Let's see how that works. I think the, um, the walls can say... Um, Actually, no. Um, no, because it's all the same material. Torpedo. Uh, back into game. Uh, this is going to be a different um, tile. This is going to be from um, Gilded. Um, I think I just entered an insane asylum. I think that's just what happened. Although, you know what, that does give me an idea for a map, but uh, I'm going to save it. Um, I'm, I do have a video idea, which I will coming out. Well, I have a lot of backlog right now, but in the future, and I think it's going to be a really good one. Also, also map making related, but not really tutorial. Um, but this this material would come in really handy then, um, but not right now. Um, let me, let me write that down. Actually. 
Okay. I was looking here. Uh, what did I just change? Oh, the material. Okay, yeah. So now the floor is normal. We're good. And we're underwater. Um, and yeah, that's a map right there. Um, I am going to double check that the goals still work. <laughs> oh my god, if I could score. I don't know who... I don't know who made these goals so tiny. Are you going to be streaming more often? I stream actually... I stream a decent amount on Twitch. Or I did at the beginning of the year. I kind of stopped a little bit lately. Um, I stream a lot more on Twitch than I do on YouTube. I mainly do... I do my Rocket League streams on YouTube. And everything else on Twitch. Okay, so the goals are backwards. Um, I want to stream more often, but uh, some some things I I do are not are not very stream worthy. <laughs> like a lot of the Stickman stuff is uh, not entirely stream worthy. It's just kind of me fumbling through things, which isn't very fun to watch. I don't think. Um, what am I looking for? I honestly can't remember what I was looking for. What was I doing? I loaded in and I was like, something's wrong. Oh, the goals. They're backwards. My God, that, does, that doesn't give you <laughs> a glimpse of my map making. That's basically... Oh my God, that's so annoying. I'm going to, yeah. Are you gonna be streaming more often for map making? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's um, it's hard to stream stuff for map making because it's like. You have to have a, you have to have an idea of what you want to do, and it also takes, um, a while. Like this, I had a clear idea of what I was doing beforehand. Like I had a clear direction I wanted to go with, and that is just uh, typically not, not always the case. Oh my, you know, this might be hard to score. I'm just thinking about that now. Oh, oh, it's over. Should I make the goals bigger? Is it, is it perfect the way it is? Cause I think it's perfect the way it is, but I want, you know, other people to also say it's okay. So I'm not, you know, alone. And that like, I'm not entirely at fault for people not being able to score. Okay. Ball's coming down, please. Please? Please come down. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna stay on the ground. The ball has to come down eventually. I mean, there's no gravity, but like still the ball has to come down, right? It's not coming down, it's just spinning. I can't, I can't, I can't score. Oh, oh, I'm scoring. I'm scoring. Goal explosion still didn't work. It's just so annoying. I wonder if there's a... I wonder if 
part of there's something I'm missing. What if I go to the, uh, I don't think I'm missing anything actually. Let's say there's no goal indicator and use that. I wonder if that's going to work. I'm also noticing that both these have the same. Okay. It seems like it floats up. I know. It's because if you put zero gravity, for some reason it's not it's not actually zero gravity. I don't get it. Because it's not how physics work. I don't think. Also, if the capture card looks like it's non-60 FPS, let me know. I don't, I'm looking at it now. I don't know if it's just the OBS preview or if it's actually not there. Oh my god. <laughs> you missed the ball and you're just on the other side of the field. Like, the ball's going up. Okay, it hit the ramp this time, so I can give an exception. But it, it is spinning that way you know with my i'm trying to show with my camera so it is going the correct direction i think i need i'm gonna try um this map um super high full size small light um actually it should be it should be beach ball curve and yes perfect the ball the small ball will actually make it easier to score i think but i th those were the settings i thought about um Because it's little, it's more your car is the zero gravity and the balls. And it's spinning more, which means it's zero gravity is less affected. Because it's spinning the way I just hit it. Which kind of makes the game, f I feel like it makes it go flow a little bigger. Uh, you know, I think the map is perfect, honestly. Um, I think the beach ball actually helps. I know it's weird, but like it keeps the ball moving. Where we're, your car is more zero gravity, the ball is less effect. It seems less affected by it just because it's like bouncing a lot far faster. I don't know how I feel about this background <laughs> still. I don't know if I like it. You know, I think I uh, I think this is some good work here. Um, I don't think I need to score. I've already proven that it, that I can. So I don't think it needs to really happen again since I've already proven that it, that I can do it. Like there, I have nothing more to prove.
Have you ever animated a shark in the background? Yes, but like not not like a full shark. It was only like the fin, like the topper. Um, I did it in a map called Top of the Donut. I think I did. I think I did it in the normal donut, and then I did it in Top of the Donut. Um, there's a few maps also where I just kind of like I throw it in very randomly. I can't remember if I put it in. Okay, I don't think I was trying to think of an event map that I threw it in to, but I don't think I did. I thought about adding it to um the map I worked on Musty's last stream or standing that one. Um, I thought about adding it there. Um, but I don't think I did. Come on, please, please just go in. I want to, I want to see the ball go in. Yeah, one random mating, thanks. Oh my god. The curveball is actually so much... I'm actually just kind of enjoying hitting the ball, I'm not gonna lie. Like, even though I can barely hit it, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it. Because, like, I feel like there's no frustration in this map because you're, like... Like, you play normal custom map with normal gravity with a normal wall and everything. And it's, like, it's your fault if you miss. But here, I don't feel bad. <laughs> and that just makes me feel really good. Because I don't feel bad. I'm going to go into training, I think, and try this. Just with a normal ball. Yeah, this goal explosion just doesn't want to work. It's so annoying. All right, just for comparison, let me use a um, let me use this one. This is because this is a normal goal explosion. So yeah, that works. I don't know. I might just not be able to use it in custom maps, which really sucks because that's like all the time I'm playing. And like for videos and stuff, I really wanted the shark. Um, but it just doesn't work. Try to animate in UDK. Yeah, I might. I'm. Yeah, UDK animating is hard. Alrighty. Um, but I'm gonna end stream here. Um, we finished the map. I don't wanna. I don't wanna leave too much. Um, in the vod that's like leeway or like you know, empty dead space. Um. So to recap, what we did today. So made the arena. Um, start to finish. Um, let me show top key. So yeah, made the goals. That was the first thing we did was made the goals. And you beat it. Showed how to make a curve. How to use skin and solidify a sub D modifier. And then did the glass. And then started working on the shape of the field. And the top part. And then UV'd for a little bit. And then after UVing, my computer entirely blue screened. And then, no. It blue screened, then did Windows updates. Um, and then I did this top part um, with the new water. Went over how to make a cage. Um, basically from scratch. Um, then showed the entire UDK process. How to add the cage and make the ball tracking work. Um, the spawns, the goals, even though I can't figure out the shark explosion, but I think it's just broken because it doesn't work in hoops either. Um, and then did the zero gravity, which is um, less of a 
cool thing more just yeah it's not it's not really that uh interesting i don't think of how to do that because it's just a gravity volume um yeah and then put it all together in udk and then we also for fun extracted the dummy assets for the new aquado map which i wasn't expecting to do today but you know I, actually i did i had in the back of my mind that i need to do it but i didn't want to um but we did it anyway and with that the map's done entirely um i hope you learned something um from watching this i try to do these map making streams every uh, if every one every few months as i kind of explained it's hard to do a um hard to do a stream like this because i have to have a clear idea of what i'm doing before i go in i don't really want to fumble my way through things i want to just efficiently go through it um which is not always how it works um but i might have a we'll see how it goes but i might have a fun stream coming in a little bit um where i try to make the worst map possible um so we'll see how that goes if that happens at all i have some notes on how to make the worst map possible um but i think i need to return to what i'm good at so yeah um but yeah this is ba also based on underwater torpedo on the case you didn't come at the beginning it's based off underwater torpedo league which came from um the courtesy of stupid twitter bots um hold on um it came because of this tweet from back with where he said before anyone asked the answer is no showing a kind of a clip of um this in real life which is kind of insane i don't know how you don't drown <laughs> to be honest um, and then I respond with fine, I'll do it myself. And that's what this stream was. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Um, I have a video coming out Saturday, Sunday, sometime Saturday or Sunday. I don't know yet because I still need to finish. Um, I need to do my final pass of editing still. Um, but uh, thank you for joining everyone who joined. Um, and yeah, uh, hold on. Let me, let me, uh, I need to do something real quick before I end. Um, I wonder if I can find it here. Oh yeah. Um, I'm just gonna play this in a black screen. <laughs> as you know, the most efficient way to do this. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Um, um, um. But thanks for watching. Hold on. But you know, thanks for watching. And you know, I'll see you. It won't, it won't go, it won't go, you know what, it won't, it won't, it won't go away. You know what, it's fine, it's over now.